going on there, YouTube? Uh, Mike here with I Heart Knives, and today we're going to be doing a sharpening. It's going to be the Spyderco Manix 2 and Crew Wear. This knife I've had for, I want to say like probably three weeks, maybe even a little longer. I think it's actually like a month or so. This is going to be the first sharpening that I'm doing. The factory edge held up decent, and I'm going to use, I believe, the Shaft and Glass 500, the Kramer by Zwilling 1000 and a Shopping Glass 4000. And then I have the Atoma 400 and 140 in case I need like the 400 to just, you know, get the bevel going a little quicker. But I think the Shopping Glass 500 should take care of it fairly quickly. So I'm not really too concerned about that. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna move the camera and then we'll get, we'll get started sharpening. All right guys, so we got all the stones out and we're gonna go ahead and, and get going with the sharpening. So a little backstory, I've been doing a lot of testing lately with the Kramer by Zwilling glass stone and um, this thing sharpens incredibly well but also has amazing feedback. It feels very similar to a Chosera stone but also has like a, a similar feel to a shaft and glass stone so it's almost like in between the two um, like it has hardness like a shaft and glass but then a little bit of elasticity like Chosera stones do so I think you you get like a good compromise of the two with the, the Kramer by by Zwilling stones and go ahead and wet the shaft and glass 500 kind of weird because they don't really there's not a whole lot of literature or videos or anything on the, the Kramer by Zwilling stones. They're not like that really that well known, but they perform incredibly well. Went ahead and killed the edge and let's get started on the glass 500. So far, crew wear sharpening pretty nicely. Doesn't seem like a like a very tricky steel, and um, you know, it seems very straightforward. Seems to be uh, you know, getting a burr fairly easily. So we've got a burr on one side, and uh, let's see if you guys can hear this. And that's just the, the skin from my finger rubbing on the burr, and uh, that was along the whole edge. So go ahead and switch to the other side, and we'll just keep this going. Okay, so at this point, we've got a burr and all the scratches are removed from the factory bevel. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and grab the 1000, the Kramer by Zwilling Stone. And we're gonna move on and put 1000 grit scratches on the bevel.
finish with the 1000 grit. Go ahead and throw the 4000 grit shaft and glass on. Alright, and we'll get right to the sharpening on the 4000 grit shaft and glass. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use my my usual 3 micron diamond on horse hide and 2 micron CBN on horse hide. So we got fairly sharp edge. Like we're cutting paper towel, which you know can be fairly tricky to do. But it's doing it. It's my first crewer sharpening and the first time uh, you know getting a feel for how crewer sharpens and, and it's fantastic steel I'm really happy with it uh, let me just bring the knife in closer so you guys can see what the edge looks like there you can see it so we've got a nice edge on it should last quite a while should strap back nicely so hopefully you guys enjoyed the the sharpening video. Um, I just want to give a, my thanks and a shout out to Gerald, Outpost 76, Super Steel Steve, Patty, Patty's Potato Peelers, Jeff Jewell, Kenny from In the Pocket, my uh, Instagram followers, especially uh, KME user Mike Likes Knives, you know, there are countless others, Dom. You, you guys have helped grow this channel tremendously and you know, I really appreciate appreciate all your guys support and um, a, a channel if you guys like my stuff I think you'll like Tom Hosang Outdoors I'm sure anybody who follows me who's followed the people that I just thanked um, you guys probably already know who he is and he's a, he's a really cool dude uh, Gerald and I from Outpost 76 are actually in, in talks of doing like a, a collaboration together um, that should be starting in the near future once he's done with like the M390 testing stuff. And yeah, that should be really cool. I'll talk about that more in a video once I talk to him a little bit more. But please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave any questions, comments, or whatever in, in the comments. Or email me if you have any other questions at iheartknives at yahoo.com. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.